What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make one of these, a collapsible hand core. Look how cool that is. I've had several requests from my Instagram if I would do a video on this, so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to go ahead and make a collapsible hand core. And while you're there, please hit that like and subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. Please enjoy the video. So I've had several people ask me to make a video on how to do a hand core. So this is a little quick video that I'm putting together. Sorry I didn't show the hand itself here in the mold before I cut it. But basically you're going to pour up whatever material you're using. In this case I'm using uh, 1630. You're going to pour the hand up to about the wrist. Then you're going to cut the center section out, as you can see here. So I've gone ahead and removed the whole center section, toss that in the trash, don't need it. And then what, I'm, what I've done is I've taken each section, as you can see here, I've cut keys and a spot for my magnet. And that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna go ahead and glue the magnet in and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so I've gone ahead and prepped my finger piece here. I've drilled holes to accept epoxy. I've got some epoxy that I'm getting ready to mix. I've got my magnet mounted to a little metal plate that I'm gonna be able to set down in here. It's gonna keep it flush with the edge of the finger there. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix my epoxy real quick. I don't know if you wanna see that, it's nothing exciting. Mix it really well. ahead and place it into the cavity here. Make sure to try to get some down into all those little holes. Though basically I drilled the holes just for retention to hold the magnet in place. And we're going to set our magnet right down inside there. Any excess material that comes out over the outside is gonna get scraped off so it'll be even with the piece again. So I set my magnet down inside there, try to make it as even as possible. And then we basically hold it for about five minutes. So I will come back to you in about five minutes. Okay, so I went ahead and did the other two fingers. I went ahead and applied the glue, put the magnet in place, and put the metal plate down. This one I just did, so it's setting up. I went ahead and took the first one that we did, removed the metal plate. It didn't have very much cleanup. I went ahead and scraped with a razor blade to clean it up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use my favorite wax. Johnson's Paste Wax, and I'm going to do a liberal coat over the whole surface. You can go ahead and use a brush if you want to. I'm just using a Q-tip at the moment. I don't want it to be a super thick layer. I want this to fit as tight as possible so when it comes out of the mold, it's gonna look like it was never a separate piece. So just remember when you put this on, if you have any clumps, globs, or anything, make sure that you wipe them off. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and do the outside. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything, just in case it leaks, this wax will prevent anything from sticking. You'll be able to peel it right off. 
if any material and you can do this with plaster you can do it with plastic whatever material you have I like the 1630 for most things you know this is quite boring just going over so I would do at least two layers of this Again, making sure that you don't have any globs anywhere. I haven't cleaned this up other than scraping off somewhat of the seam line. Usually I'll end up taking this down quite a bit more, like a quarter of an inch around the whole thing. Okay, so I'm gonna call that good. I'm gonna grab my other magnet and attach that so now we have a second layer of a magnet and then we're going to go ahead and put this inside our mold hang on a second let me try to So we set that down inside of our mold, make sure that that fits nice and snug, and we're gonna move on to the next one. We'll be right back. Okay, so we're back, and we're gonna go ahead and remove the rubber bands here. I'm gonna remove our metal plate. Oh man, it looks like our magnet got on the outside somehow. So we pop that up. Got a little bit of cleanup that we're going to do so you can see how that looks. Got a little bit of cleanup there. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put some acetone on a paper towel and wipe over this to try to get any of that excess material off. I'm going to get my razor blade here, do a little bit of scraping. Right now is the time that you want to do any adjustments. If I made a mistake on something, I would go ahead and do it now because once you pour that center core, it's done, and then you wasted all that material. And it's about 3,000 grams, a little over 3,000 grams to fill the arm on this mold. How do I know that? Because I've had one poured up and wasted, unfortunately. So we just clean that up a little bit, put a little bit more acetone over that. Try not to get it down inside. We don't want to loosen anything up. Check the outside, make sure there's nothing over the outside here, anywhere. Nice and clean, good. I'm gonna put a little bit more wax back over our whole surface. Just to make sure, and we've already waxed this, I think I've waxed this twice now. And like I said, you can use a brush, you can use whatever you want because it's such a small piece. I'm just going over it with a Q-tip. Again, make sure that you don't you can see all these globs and streaks and stuff like that. You don't want to leave any of that on there. Just make sure you work it in. And I'm going overboard as far as making sure that I cover everything you never know. This is an old mold and it leaks quite a bit. So it has to be sealed, glued and strapped quite well. And it still leaks. It needs to be redone. Okay. All right. Take my paper towel and just lightly wipe over everything. Try not, not to wipe it off. I want to keep as much on there as I can, but yet make it nice and smooth. Just give it a once over. And then those out then we go ahead and add our next magnet and what I do is I go ahead and put it on here to where it's going to 
feel which way it wants to go. So we have our dual layer magnet. This one is going to stay inside the rest of the mold. Let me adjust my cameras here. And what we're going to do is we go ahead and set this down inside the mold. So you can see that. And this one is ready to go. So I'm going to prep the mold, close it up, and pour it. So we'll be back in a minute. All right, so here's a quick look down inside the mold before I pour it. Both halves of the mold have been put together. And now we're going to pour the rest of our 1630. Stay tuned. Okay, so I've gone ahead and weighed out my materials, my A and my B. I had a little bit of an issue with my scale. Luckily, I've got three or four of them. So the one that I was using was counting backwards for some reason. In all my years, I've never had that experience. So something new. Luckily, because I was about ready to waste a lot of material. So we're going to go ahead and pour our A and B into a larger cup. And we're going to mix A and B together. And this material again is known as 1630 by Revchem. also use plaster, plastic, other resins, whatever you want to do. Want to mix it up pretty quickly. Mix it until you have a nice even color. Pour slowly to start with. I go ahead and make a little bit of a point to my bucket. I want this to go in without trapping air bubbles. There's no turning back now. Hopefully my measurement was correct. It's a nice steady even pour. Again this mold is well over 20 years old. And it leaks pretty bad, so I actually might have to pour a little bit more, which it looks like I am. So I probably have another 150 grams that I need to pour. So that's okay. I'd rather have a little, too little, and I can go ahead and top it off than to have whole bunch of a waste. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring it up onto the sides so that it covers everything. I've tried to level my mold out the best I can for it just sitting in the trash can. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling it up onto the sides. Um, that way it actually creates a kind of a seal there. I don't have to you're not going to have a, a lap line, per se. The material's getting warm, so I'm going to try to mix up a little bit more to top it off before it gets too hot. We'll be right back. Here's what it looks like all filled up. Normally I would put a pipe in the bottom of this with a threaded Threaded pipe sticking out the bottom. 
to attach a flange to so that the sculptor can attach it to a board, but I don't have any flanges or pipes. So I'm gonna have to re-drill this later. Okay, so I had to open the mold off camera because the actor's name is on the mold and I can't divulge that at this time. So I went ahead and opened it. So I'm gonna to try to pop this loose a little bit. Sorry for the noise. So I'm going to go ahead and just remove some of the stuff. Hopefully this comes out. You can kind of see here and there the fact that we released, we released much on the back side. Okay, so basically we're going to try and separate it and see how hopefully it comes apart. And obviously the first time it comes apart it's going to be the, the most difficult. Oh. So you can see here the excess material. All of this here that will just peel off. It's very sharp, so you have to be very careful. And there shouldn't be much of anything on these. So let's see how well that goes back together. Whoa! Oh, and basically this just needs to hold its place so that uh, when it's inside the mold and the silicone or foam gets put around it, it stays stays in in place. But you can see how that just pops off nice and easily. We have our little pins there that stick out. I would prefer to use stronger magnets, but this is what they had. Let's try to pop the other side off. Break that section. Hopefully not break. Did I glue? Or did I release this side? So I'm just going to take and smack it a little bit with a piece of wood to try to Loosen it up without damaging. And if that doesn't work, then we'll have to bust out the, the big guns. Maybe I forgot. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. I guess I was just going the wrong way. I love how that just goes right back together. Nice and easily. Okay, there you have it, the final piece. Now I gotta work on pouring up the next one. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. If you wanna see more stuff like this, check out my other videos.
you have any questions, please do not hesitate to comment below or send me an email. I appreciate it.